In this video, traders, we're looking at two alternative call payoff diagrams. Stay tuned. Hey guys, one welcome to you. So options trading can be very profitable, can also be a bit of a nightmare understanding stuff. So two graphical ways of visualizing how a call option will be worth something to you or not, depending on the strike price, depending on the expiry, depending on the underlying asset price relative to the strike price at expiry. If that all sounds like complicated, let's have a look at some examples. Right, so we've got two here. One is the value at expiry. So this is the value of the option at expiry. It doesn't take into account what you've paid for the option. It's just so that you can see in your mind how the option price would be valued at expiry. If you pay more for it, obviously, then it's valued at expiry. You're going to lose money. If you pay less for it, you're going to make money. So that's where the profit and loss payoff diagram comes in because it takes into account what you've paid for the option and then gives you an idea of what you're going to make depending on what the strike price is relative to the expiry price or the expiry price relative to the strike price. Okay, let's look at them both and see how they work. So the first one here, um, we have got a stock XYZ and it's trading at $50, right? And we're looking to buy a call option with a $50 strike. Let's put that up here so we can see it. So it's a $50 call option. And don't forget a call option is the right, if you buy a call option, it's the right, but not the obligation to purchase XYZ stock at $50 at that expiry price. So what does that mean for us in this diagram? The value expiry is this. If the stock price is 10 bucks at expiry, has it got any value? Has the option got any value? No, because you got the right to buy those shares at $50 when actually it's trading at $10. That's no use at all. Same at $20, same at 30, same at 40. At $50, is that any value? Not really, because you can buy it at $50 uh, in the market now, but you've got a contract that says you can buy it at $50. Is that, any, is that only value that contract? No, because that's the current price. However, if we start looking at an expiry price of, let's say, $60, okay, or $70, if the stock is trading at $60, and you've got a contract that says, hey, I can buy that stock at $50. Is that worth something? Yes, it is. It's worth $10 to you. So the value of that contract at expiry is going to be $10 because it's going to be the difference in the strike price minus or difference in the expiry price, should I say, minus the strike price. In this case, $10. If it's trading at $70 at expiry, again, similar thing. We've got the right and not the obligation, but we, we're gonna take the right because we've got $20 discount on what it's currently trading at. So the value of that option is gonna be $20. And that's just gonna go up and up and up and up and we could go up to uh, whatever we wanted to. We can have 100 if it's a strike price. We're still our $50 strike price and it was trading 150 expiry. You get it, $100 is gonna be the value of the contract. So that's all well and good, but for traders, we want to know what our PL is, right? And so we're going to have to move over to the profit and loss chart. Now, this is very similar, except it takes into account what we've paid for the option. So, in this example, rough example, we have bought this call option and we've paid, uh, we've paid $10 for it, right? It's a $50 strike, currently trading at $50. We've trade, paid $10 premium for it. And so a seller of the option has said, okay, I'll take the risk of that and I will charge you $10 for it. And you've gone, yep, yeah, great, I'll buy that option, $10. One contract, 100 shares. $10, doesn't matter how many outward volume we're doing at the moment, but you've paid $10 for it. So let's have a look how that might affect your payoff when you come to expiry. So at expiry, what happens? Well, this is the stock price here, 10, 20, 30, 40, $50, $60, $70, etc. So anything, if we can let's say we'll do an example at $20, right? Let's say at expiry, the price of the stock or the underlying asset is 20 bucks. Is that option worth anything? No, because we just looked in this example. Now you've got the right to buy it at 50. It's currently 20, 20. That's no value at all. So that's going to cost you $10. You are $10 negative. Your profit and loss, you lost $10 on that, right? Because that's what you've paid for the option. Okay, and that's going to be the same for anything up to $50. At $50, things start changing. So $50, what's the value of that option? It's still zero, so you're losing the price that you've paid for it. Now, 
we're starting to get interesting. If we go up to $60, what happens? That option has got a $10 value, right? Because we've just done that example. You can buy something at 50, it's currently trading at 60, 10 buck value, pretty simple. However, we just paid $10 for that option. So have we made any money? No, we haven't. So at 60 bucks, that's our break even point uh, because we have got the right to buy the option at 50, at 60, it's worth $10, great, it's got some value but we already paid $10 for it anyway, so we've not made any money. So $60 is our break even price. Now we can start to look a little bit more and say, okay, well, what happens if we start to close at $70? What happens if the stock price is $70 at expiry? Now we're talking, now we're starting to make a little bit of cash because 70 minus 50 is $20 of value in that option. As we go back to this one here, we've got $20 of value. We can just go do, 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 do across there. Uh, and we only paid $10 for it. So we now have $10 worth of profit on that options contract. So these are just two different ways of, of, of showing the cool payoff, guys. This takes into account what you've paid for it. And obviously you're in loss all the way up to your strike price plus the price you paid. So if you pay 20 bucks, then obviously that's gonna be $70 before you have uh, before you come into profit. You've paid $1 for the option, it's gonna be 51 before you come into profit. So it just gives you an idea of what happens at expiry and then obviously the higher the price expiry, if we're talking $100, you're like, oh great, you know, it's $100, I've made $50 profit. No, you've got to take into the account what you pay for, which is $10, $40 profit times the number of contracts you've got. So different ways of visualizing, but you can see how you need to get past your strike plus the, plus the price you pay for the option before you start making any money.